Hello everybody, it's Chris again from CSS Tricks with podcast number three where we're going to continue building this website from a Photoshop mock-up. Uh, let's take a look at the mock-up one more time. This is what we're trying to build. And this is what we got so far. We got the header, some content, and a footer built. Uh, pretty decent start. One little mistake that we made last time is, if I switch over here to the code, we put the footer inside of this page wrap. But if you'll remember, in the mock-up, we said we wanted it, we wanted this footer to, to grow as wide as the website browser is going to be. Touch the bottom, touch the left, touch the right. Well, that's not going to happen while it's inside of well, it's inside of the page wrap, because remember, the page wrap has a width of 800. So that footer isn't going to be able to grow any wider than 800. So all we got to do to fix that is let's just cut it out of the page wrap and plunk it outside. Save that. And if we reload that, it doesn't look any different because we're at 800 pixels wide right here, but I promise you... <laughs> if you could see me resizing the browser window there, it's going to behave a little better. So let's dive right into the main content area and just get started cleaning that up. Uh, I should mention quick though, you can see how this footer uh, isn't all the way on the bottom of the page. Since it's the last thing in the content, it really will be touching the, the bottom browser when there's enough content up here. And we're fairly certain that there'll be enough content up here to always push you know have the the height of all the content be higher than any normal browser window so the the footer really will be touching the bottom of the browser window on all pages okay so remember here in our mock-up in the main content area all this area in here we have what we're going to consider to be a left column and a right column so let's jump to our HTML and write that first like we've been doing so far. Remember if you write the HTML first you know you're gonna at least attempt to be as semantic as possible. So let's have one like the page wrap one big kinda div to contain it all. Div of main content and that'll hold all this Just to remind ourselves, it's a good idea to do this. Okay, and then all this text we'll just dump into another div. Like we said, left column. And make sure to end that div as well. Okay, now just to be clean here, let's indent the left column properly. And then we're also going to need, after the left column, a right column, the sidebar. We'll just call it right call. It can be empty for now. And then let's style that. First thing we created was the main content area. So div, an ID of main content. There's not a whole lot we're going to do with this, but one thing I know we're going to want to do is just give it a little space after all the content before the footer, just for a little breathing room, a little design room. You know, in, in the mock-up here, we have it fade out, but that's just because I had a screenshot here that went a lot deeper, and I didn't want to go that far. But you can see that this amount of space here, this nice breathing room before the footer, I think that's a good idea. We can accomplish that with just throwing a little padding on the bottom. That's pretty healthy. I'm not sure what else we'll use that for, but it's just kind of a nice wrap in case we need to use it. But within that main content, we have that left column, div, 
Well, just let's specify even better. Main content. Div. Left call. We know we want it floated to the left. Because we know that the right sidebar is going to be floated to the right. Just that's how the... That's just how it's going to work. Let's float it to the left and... Let's see. I already did a little experimenting here. I think... I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I haven't. But let's try like 530 pixels. And similarly, just because it's going to be similar, let's copy and paste the right column is going to float to the right with the width of, let's see, 800 minus 530 is 270. But we might need a little space. Let's just call it 260. Now this is kind of important. Because the main content only has two things in it, a left column and a right column, they're both floated. That does weird things to height. It's the height of the main content is is it's it's not gonna know how tall to be. That's just what floats do. It's kind of a weird scenario, but when when you know that all the content inside of an element is gonna be floated like that, you really need to clear the float after you do that. So we'll use a little Toolbox CSS, I call it. Just a empty div with a class of clear, and then we'll just kind of throw that up near the top with some other of this generic kind of CSS. It's clear, both. That's all it takes. So let's see if we did a good job there if I screwed something up. Reload. Oh, I must have screwed something up. Maybe I didn't save the HTML. Well, that's what happened. So now you can see there's nothing in the right sidebar, but here's our 530 pixel width left, left column. Here's our blank right sidebar. Here's our 50 pixels of nice padding at the bottom of the content, and because the because it's the float got cleared, this the footer's now on the bottom. So, good start.